Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jay Stein pumping them out, even though nobody's really watching. That's okay. It's perfectly fine. Oil has dropped below $60. It's kind of a big deal. Um, basically, when there's you know higher oil prices, it keeps the market propped up a little bit, or at least gives it a little bit of warm air underneath it. And on top of that, the 10 year is at 1728. Yet the market is declining pretty sharply, uh, all things considered. I mean, the Dow is still up technically, uh, but not by much at all. And the S&P is not, uh, it's not looking great. Now, the reason why I'm talking about oil and the fact that it's, I mean, literally 59, okay, 59, 99, I just went back to 60. They're blaming it on a, um, let's see here, uh, they are forecasting that Europe won't be uh, needing so much of our uh, energy. Okay, they're predicting that. They're saying because they're, they're predicting that it's going to be a less uh, lower temperature uh, climate throughout the summer of Europe. They're predicting that. That's what they think. They think it's, it's not going to be so hot. You know, they think that they also think because of the uh, the vaccine that the vaccine uh, is still going to keep people scared and they're not going to go out, even though the vaccine is what's, you know, making a herd immunity and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So but, but they think that still, even though the people have the vax, that people are still going to stay at home. Right now that that all put together should drive our, our freaking price down over 7% in one day, which the oil market, here's the deal. We've got so much supply that we don't need anybody to import. What we need is to export. If we can't export, then we got a problem because we don't, I mean, we produce more than what we actually use, despite what anybody might or might not tell you. Um, like we saw a few months ago when oil literally went negative. Uh, these oil companies had to actually put their oil on tankers and had to have the tankers sit right offshore and just sit there. Um, I mean, some companies took just massive losses across the board on that deal. But what happened is it came right back up so on so forth they brought it back up they got it above 55 they got it to 60 they got above 65 or i think 65 anyways but for the fifth day now in a row it's dropped down and it's finally back down into the 50s um that's why uh it's happening will it affect our companies here I don't know. Um, I can look and tell you uh, the mid cap companies are the ones that, in my in my opinion, uh, really matter because they're the ones that are most prone to it. And yeah, I mean, you're looking at the ETF of the mid size uh, down, say four percent, a little bit more than four percent. Um, I use the leveraged, so it's down uh, eight point three percent on the mids. Uh, so if this continues um, and we start getting down into the 50s and if we start getting down into the 40s, um, we are going to have some issues. And the oil uh, market does play a huge part in our economy, despite everybody, you know, wanting to go green. And, and I'm all for it. I love uh, solar. I do. I, I One of my core ETFs is solar. Um, I love alternative energy and it is the wave of the future as of right now. Oil is a major, major driver in this market. So we have to keep an eye on this, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, it, it's dropping into the 50s and it's worth paying attention to. Again, everything else with the market, um, you know what? I don't know. Uh, 1.729 on the 10 year, and the Dow is basically about to go negative. So I don't really know what's going on. Uh, if the yield was jumping higher, this would make sense, but it's not. So this is all kind of counterintuitive. So I'm going to chop it up to the oil uh, slumping drastically and it's dragging down the market. That's my thesis for right now. Um, 
But as the day goes on, uh, you know, that could all change. It's a little bit fluid. Anyways, guys, uh, for those who are checking this out, thank you. And uh, I'll holler back at y'all later.